Dining at Walt Disney World can be some of the best experiences on your vacation. But not always. But usually. But usually. But occasionally you have a poor experience, whether it's the food or the service or the circumstances, the weather. Whatever it is, sometimes you have bad experiences dining at Disney World. So we're going to go over what our worst dining experience at Walt Disney World has been or was. Hollywood Studios, have you heard of a restaurant called the 50s Prime Time? Is that what it's called? What is it called? <laughs> the 50s Prime Time Cafe. I wanted to say theater and I was like, that's not It's right. not a theater. Is it the diner or the cafe? Oh, it's, it's cafe. Prime Time Diner. Prime Time Cafe. Zach. Amy. <laughs> Over at Hollywood Studios, have you heard of a restaurant called 50s Prime Time? I have. Me too. Remember have that you... time we ate there together? Oh, we did. We did eat there. That was fine. We were both there. I was there. You were there. Yeah. Someone else was there. Batman, Batman I think. Batman. Yeah. And Alicia. And Alicia. So that was fine, except that it was one of the worst dining experiences I've ever had. So 50s primetime I've had good experiences at. Um, you get a great waiter or waitress and they really make it an excellent experience for you. They personalize it. They make it fun. Your food comes out great. That was not our experience when we went together in 2017. Nope, well, 2018. Our waiter was... I, I liked our waiter just fine. I thought he was pretty fun and did the, the 50 shtick. He did the shtick. But here's the thing. While he was a great waiter... He did the same exact Yes, he did repeat. With every person that he sat down. Mm -hmm. So the first, when we sat down, we thought, oh, this is so funny. He's hilarious. That's a good point. Until he sat the next table and he did the same thing. And we went, oh, that's just his thing. And then like three more times and we were and like, And then several okay. more times. So he had a pretty limited set list there. Yeah. So that did kind of lose its humor very quickly. Uh, but he was a good waiter. The second thing that went wrong for us is that we got seated at, I think, the worst table they have was a weird at table. the 50s prime time. Yeah, it was like an, in an island of itself off on the far wall where there was like no theming at all and next to like a weird window that looked out onto nothing. Yeah, the window itself actually looked out onto like a little bit of backstage with like an air conditioner, I think. Yeah. So they had the blinds closed, but we were like, well, we want to look out the window that we're sitting next to until we saw that it was just nothing. And there was like, we just had like a very basic table. Some of them have like TVs and like 50s decor. Mm -hmm. We had like nothing. It was just a table. Yeah. <laughs> next to a wall. It was like, how can we fit four more chairs in this dining room? I don't know. <laughs> Stick a table right there. That's the table that we got. That kind of sucked. And they made us like walk through all the cool sections yeah. to get to it. And then we arrive at our regular table. Yeah, that's dunk. The food itself at primetime, I've had really good food there. The fried cheese is amazing. Um, I've had the salmon Caesar salad. That was super good. Uh, but this time when we went, I ordered the chicken pot pie because I have had that way long ago and I remember it being so good, like the best pot pie I've ever had in my life. And like for months before this trip, I was like, I want that pot pie. I'm craving it. So it was building up and I'm just so excited for it. And when I got that pot pie, it was so flavorless. I had to like use a lot of salt just to get anything out of it. It was very disappointing. I would say as far as an entire dining experience, that one, it wasn't horrible, but it was probably the worst. And it was a perfect storm of everything going wrong. Yeah. What about you? What's your worst dining experience at Disney World? <sighs> well, let me paint a picture for you. Please. You're at Epcot. It's August. It's a million degrees. What do you think you want to eat? A nice... A nice cool. deep fried... <laughs> Milkshake? How about deep fried food while sitting in the sun? No, I don't want that. Well, that's what we did. Why did we do that? We're idiots. We were trapped in World Showcase, is why. <laughs> we were so hungry. And we were so hungry, and we saw fish fry, and I was like, fish fry is supposed to be pretty good. 
This is supposed to be a pretty good place. So we did it. We got there. We ordered our fish fry and thing number one went wrong. They were out of fish fry. <laughs> they were out of fish at the Yorkshire County Fish Shop. So they only serve one item. It's fish. <laughs> and and they were out. And chips. But they were out of fish. So we had to wait for them to fry one from scratch in the sun. There's not much shade or cover there. It was like a solid 10 to 12 minutes that we had to wait. Too. Yeah. It wasn't just like, oh, I'm standing here waiting for a couple minutes. It was like a real wait. In the middle of the day, August, peak, peak temperature, sun is totally out. So by the time we get our food, I'm already like hallucinating. Yeah. And uh, so we get our fish fry. We do. We take it to the only seating they have, which is outdoors, of course. All not like, not even like on the water too. It was up and toward the walkway. And yep. Just... Near, just surrounded by concrete that's been beating, getting beat in the sun all day. So, I mean, we eat the food and it's okay. You know, it's fish fry. We have fish fry here in Buffalo. Oh man, we got good fish fry. And I guess, Buffalo. yeah, I guess we're a little bit famous for it. Our, our fish fry is just way better than that fish fry was. I do like the Yorkshire County fish shop fish fry. I don't know. But it's just too much. Like you take a couple bites and you're like, I'm all set. But then you have an entire meal left still. And it's just so greasy. It just like hurts to eat. Like you feel your arteries clogging. And when it was super, super fresh, super hot, you're sitting in that sun. I really believe that you had heat stroke while we were eating. I may have had heat stroke. Because you were like, I am finished eating. I will go into the air conditioning now. And I ate without you. I I, I had to like escape. I don't know. I it, was, uh, it was bad. It wasn't your fault. I know, but we could have just eaten somewhere else. I think it was my idea. <laughs> it was your idea. You I was idiot. like, I had heard it was good. I was like, well, we're literally right there. So that was, I think, the biggest thing, too, is that we were like, we just need to sit down. But we should have, like, made our way to Japan and tried to sit inside Katsura Grill or something. Yeah. So it was uh, at least partially our fault and then partially their fault for not having fish. Yeah. They need to have fish and they really need some indoor seating there. Yeah. I, I mean, it's, like, almost dangerous. Seriously. So almost having heat stroke was my worst experience. It's pretty bad. And uh, now should we bring on... Batman, our special guest. The Batman. Would you like to take my seat, Batman? Okay. Okay. I'll take it. Well, we welcome Batman, Secret Identity Shane, to our show. Normal Identity Shane, Secret Identity Batman. Uh, you know. I'm Amy's husband. She is my wife. And I'm happy to share the worst food experience I ever had at Walt Disney World. Maybe even anywhere, because it was really bad. Really? Okay. Well, what is it? I would never eat it again. Um, I'm hoping right around now some kind of shop of the item itself comes up. Nope, not gonna do that. Not gonna do that? No. Okay. <laughs> well, what I ate that was so terrible, what I ate that ruined me for trying anything new was the buffalo chicken waffle sandwich slider from, I believe it was Trilo Bites in the Animal <laughs> Kingdom. It was a snack. It wasn't a full meal or anything. And I'll be honest, it was trash. Well, Trilo Bites is known for their exquisite dining experiences, so... Yeah, I, I can't know. believe what a gaffe this was. I missed the boat. So what happened was people outside of Buffalo decided to make buffalo chicken. This that time. is problem one. Problem two was me from Buffalo deciding to try <laughs> buffalo chicken from outside of Buffalo. Yes. And problem number three was putting it on a waffle, which sweet and savory is great, but sweet and savory and buffalo sauce don't particularly mix well. And then you add in whatever weird kind of Ken's ass blue cheese that they used um, mixed with... How do you say it? Arugula? Arugula. Arugula. Arugula as the uh, vegetable of choice instead of something like lettuce or maybe the even better nothing. And <laughs> I don't, I couldn't even finish it. And it was just a little square. It was just a little individual waffle sandwich. And it was absolutely disgusting. So Love me some organic nothing. Yeah, it was, Um, I have regrets and that's one of them. So I guess we'll just leave you guys with that image. This image? That image. May all your snacks be better than that and full service meals be better than that and may i recommend not heating in the sun in the middle of august just to play it safe go to san angel Inn. it's nice and dark and cool and the food is really good it is pretty good i like it there all right thanks cool. for stopping by batman it was a pleasure catch you guys on the flippity flip <laughs> <laughs>
part. That's good. Sun's beating it up. Ugh. Cut poof, poof, poof. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's what that's not, it's that's what it sounded like. <laughs> Shane, your head does not fit in the frame. <laughs> yeah, scoot back and lean in.